Hello YouTube, hello guys, welcome to another exciting day, welcome to my channel, welcome to YJ Digital World, I remain your host Agu Joseph. So guys, on today's tutorial video, I'll be sharing some Photoshop tips and tricks that can come in handy in your next project, okay guys? So if this actually sounds like what you're actually interested in and you're new to the channel, do well to smash the subscribe button if you have not done that. Do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for always watching. So guys, the first tip of today has to do with how to distribute an object around a circle, okay? So first thing first, I'll pick my ellipse tool over here, left click and hold shift to create a circle, a perfect circle, and change the fill color to white to be precise, okay? Hold Ctrl A, hit Ctrl A on the keyboard, pick your move to align this horizontally and vertically into your canva, Ctrl D to deselect, okay? That's for that. So the next thing I would like to do is to set my uh, my rulers, okay, to actually uh, pick the center part of uh, my Canva. So I'll come to view over here, all the way to guides, and enable this to be precise, guides. So I'll set this on, I think, 50% for the vertical and 50% for the horizontal as well. Okay, so this is the midpoint, okay, of this uh, white circle. So guys, after you're done setting up your guides, you come over here on your shape panel here and pick the rectangle tool, okay? Create a rectangle of about this size to be precise, okay? So after you're done, I would like you to hit Ctrl T on the keyboard. After you're done hitting Ctrl T, come over here on my screen and click on this checkbox to be precise, okay? You notice that uh, this actually comes up. So you left click and drag this pointer here, this uh, target pointer over here to be precise. After you're done uh, with that, you come over here where you have this angle of degrees to be precise. So take note that the full dimension of a circle is 360. So this is 360, I'll say 360 divided by the number of these rectangles I need to be around this circular part. So let me say about uh, 20, for example, are the numbers I need. So after I'm done typing 360, that is 360 divided by 20, I'll hit the enter key. This is the actual radius, okay? So I'll click on the check button. So after I'm done with this, the next thing I would like to do is to control shift and alt on the keyboard with T. That is control shift alt T and duplicate multiple times. Keep on tapping Ctrl Shift or T multiple times. And you notice that uh, the shape will be duplicated and are uh, well uh, spaced equally, okay? You can see these are actually duplicated and the distance between each of these shapes are spaced out equally, okay? So I hit Ctrl H to hide my guides, guys. So that is in terms of creating an object around a path, okay? So on tip number two, we'll be talking about how to use the blend diff in Photoshop to be precise. Okay, for illustration purpose, I'll be showing you how to use the blend diff to remove this background, that is this sky uh, blue background from this image to be precise. So all I have to do is to double click on the layer over here. Okay, the layer style comes up or you right click on the layer and click on the blending option and same panel also comes up, okay. So over here on the blend, on the layer style, you notice uh, over here, this is set on, uh, blend if it's set on, uh, on gray to be precise. So you set this on blue, okay? Then after you're done with that, so the blue means we are working on the blue color over here. But please take note that these sliders are made up of three regions. This part are called the shadow, the middle part are called the mid-tones, and these ends are called the highlights. Now I need to take out this uh, highlighted uh, feel of blue uh, away from this image. So I have to drag it out like this. You see what happens, okay? So if I drag it out, you see actually what happens, okay? Unlike when I go this way, you see what happens. Reverse is the case. So I have to drag this way because it is uh, the sky to be precise. I need to remove, okay? So I can hold Alt to break the slider to create a smooth transition between these edges and the little feel of blue around them, okay? 
so i think i can do it like this i think this is okay like this and i'll click on the okay button okay so in order for you to verify whether this is actually uh successful you can create a solid fill layer over here give it a, a feel of your choice and drag this beneath okay you can now see that uh the whole of the blues around these edges are uh, disappeared okay that is in terms of this so guys tip number three has to do with how to change uh a t-shirt color from black to white okay so i'll be teaching you how to change it from black to white as well as how to change a white t-shirt from white to black as well okay so let me show you so the first thing i'd like to do i notice uh, this image has a background okay let me enable this to be precise a solid feel to give my background a feel of this to be precise okay i'll double click to unlock the layer and drag this beneath you notice that uh, this shirt uh, is having a feel of uh, pixels on this okay so in order for me to remove this uh, background feel, okay, I'll come over here, click on select and click on subject. So you notice there is a marquee around these edges, okay, that has shown that uh, this image has been selected, that is the shirt has been selected. So the next thing I'd like to do is to add a vector max to this, okay. This is how the image is actually looking like right now. So in order for me to change this color for the shirt, the first thing I would like to do is to come to my adjustments, apply the levels, okay? So over here, I have the property panel for the levels, okay? And the levels are made up of three regions, the shadows, the mid-tones, and the highlights. So I'll start by playing with the highlights, okay? So I'll add this over here, but you notice it's affecting the whole project. So I have to click on this to apply the effect only on the shirt to be precise. So I'll take it down like this. Okay. I need this to change its feel. So I'll adjust the mid-tones as well. So that I won't lose much details of the shirt to be precise. Okay. So after we are done with this, I'll come over here and adjust uh, the transition along uh, this particular region like this. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to take away the darkness on this uh, particular end of this uh, image to be precise, these edges. So after I'm done, come over here on the adjustment and enable the exposure, okay? So on the exposure here, I'll click on the clip marks and make the adjustment this way, apply a feel of exposure this way, a little feel of the exposure and more of the gamma to be precise. I think more of the gamma is okay like this okay so this is how we change a black shirt to a white shirt okay tip number four i'll be showing you how to change a white shirt to a black shirt so i'll come over here and apply a solid feel select uh, a feel of uh, this and take this beneath the image to be precise so i'll select the layer come over here on the adjustment and add a level to this okay so on the levels here i'll work on this uh, underlying layer over here and boost up the shadows into uh boost up the highlights into the shadows okay into the shadow region or towards the mid-tone region like this i think this is okay like this so after i'm done i'll click on the clip mask so that the effect will be only on the shirt so if i'm done i'll I'll apply the exposure to this as well. Click on the clip mark so that it affects only that particular region. And I'll boost up this, uh, reduce this a little rather. Okay. I think this is okay. As well as the gamma, I will go this way like this to be precise. Okay. So, guys, this is how I go about uh, changing the color of a particular shirt okay so this is the black and this is the white guys so this is how to change from one to the other without uh much stress so guys the fifth tip of the day has to do with placing a logo on a shirt and blending them together okay how do i do this so guys uh here's the logo i'll be using for this illustration okay so the next thing i will show you how to blend it into the shirt so that it will have that realistic feel to be precise okay so in doing this we'll be using 
the blend if as well for this. So I'll come over here, double click. The layer style will come up. And this time around, this will be set on gray. So this is a black shade. So in order for me to make this visible, I need to take it out like this. Left click and drag this underlining layer like this. Now you notice there is a little transition from the shirt and the logo. So I hold Alt on my keyboard to break the slider. Hold Alt, left click to break the slider. So I can take this this way and I can take this this way like this. Okay, guys. So that is in terms of that. You can now see, have a preview of how this is actually looking like on the shirt to be precise. That is in terms of that. So I can click OK, come over here, double click on it. I can still choose to change the fill color of the logo by changing it to white or any color of my choice. And I'll hit the OK button, guys. So you can hit Ctrl T, transform it out, place it. You can see this is how it actually blends into the shirt, guys. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's tutorial on Photoshop tips and tricks, okay? So if you do enjoy this video, do well to give it a like, do well to smash the like button right now, guys. And if you are new to the channel and you like to see more content like this from me, okay, do well to smash the subscribe button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for always watching. If you have any question, any comment, any suggestion, you can leave your comments and your suggestion in the comment section area. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next.